Hello everyone, welcome back to Tox Riders. This video introduces a new series we want to start and I'm very excited about it. And uh, the goal of this new series is uh, to demonstrate the power of different finite element solvers available in open source world. And in order to do that, we want to solve a single engineering problem that has a relatively complex geometry in different programs, in different tools, and then we want to compare uh, their performance and also discuss a little bit about the, their differences and this kind of stuff. So let's go to see how it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, before I show you the problem that we are going to solve in this series and also the output that we want to obtain, let me just say the motivation behind this series that, yeah, I wanted to introduce different tools, different solvers, and uh, their efficiency that they are really strong and can be used for real world problems and applications, both in research and also in industry. And as you know, as you may have seen, we have also a series, dedicated series on the yeah, theoretical aspects of numerical computing and numerical methods. But uh, yeah, I wanted to combine these two together and show you how you can work with different packages, especially the ones that allow you to, to deal with low level aspects of your numerical computation. But yeah, there are lots of tutorials on the internet on these packages. But the problem is when people want to start to dis to discuss these things, they usually use simple geometries. And one of the problems people usually face, I mean, researchers or engineers, when they want to start to use these packages, is to import complex geometries, real world geometries into the programs and try to analyze them. And yeah, the documentation on these aspects are relatively poor on the internet. So I decided to share experiences and a fact that how you can build complex geometries and also how you can convert them between various programs, how you can, yeah, label them. We have already discussed this, but I will provide more details on this. And then we solve the problem, the single problem in different programs allowing us to compare the, the, the ease of use and also if the program features a user interface, we will see the efficiency of the user interface. But let me tell you that, yeah, the programs that we see in this series, they are very, very powerful and we are going to use them later on various series in Tox Riders when we want to discuss more advanced projects. The problem that we're going to solve is uh, a kind of heat exchanger. And I've used this uh, uh, heat exchanger concept because it features a diffusion equation. We can solve a diffusion heat transfer equation, a transient one to see how the flow goes through a complex geometry. We will create a geometry together and then we will see how you can import this into uh, into the final element solver programs. So uh, as a result, I wanted to go for the helical uh, heat exchangers. So yeah, they, they go, oh, sorry. Uh, the concept is, uh, you know, we, we, we don't really want to simulate the exact behavior of an exchanger. We want to just have sort of inspiration from its geometry and a way that we can construct the boundary conditions on this. So the geometry is something like this, a helical one, which is uh, which has a shape like a spring. And uh, that, yeah, for for these uh, heat exchangers, yeah, the, the, probably you know, but the, the goal and the, the, the way that they work is, yeah, they want to, as the name implies, is for exchanging heat. So as you can see here, for example, it has an input and output, and we need also to couple it with a Floyd flow phenomenon, a Floyd flow solver, but we don't want to go for that because we don't want to make the problem very complicated. The goal of the series is something else. But uh, yeah, we have an input and output. We apply different boundary conditions to this 
boundaries and we create a helical shape in inside various applications like Salom or FreeCAD. I will show you how you can also convert different formats from these two programs and also how you can generate mesh out of these uh, geometries. And by knowing that, I'm sure that later on you can use these techniques to create any shape you want, especially when you want to import them into like the, the kind of frameworks that, yeah, like Freeframe or Phoenix, that they are built to solve mathematical equations, but their geometrical features and meshing stuff are not that much advanced, so you really need to import mesh in order to, to work with uh, more advanced geometries or re more real world applications. And um, yeah, so this is the kind of geometry that we want to solve. As I said, uh, the focus is on uh, seeing how to implement this into in various applications. And later on, when we discuss uh, the concepts of finite element, because at some points we may need to know more about finite element we would, when we don't want to use the GUIs necessarily. Uh, we we need to to deal with uh, some uh, finite element application finite element theories, but uh, you know the goal of this series that you have seen already on Tox Riders is to demonstrate those concepts and theories. But the finite element part is still uh, not discussed. And before going to that, I want to demonstrate some applications of the method in action, which is actually this series, and then we go for more uh, finite element. If, if, for more details and we go deeper into the finite element formulation and stuff. But yeah, there are some minor things that we need to know in advance. I will provide you with all the necessary information uh, when we reach a point that we need them. But yeah, later on we go to the details of the finite element and we discuss a lot about this because this is the main technique that we want to use in tax writers later on in later projects. And uh, the kind of geometry that uh, we want to have, uh, let me show you uh, the, the output. So the geometry is also there. The output of the simulation, this one is created with, free, with FreeFam, but as I said, uh, we want to uh, reproduce similar results in um, various applications. So I start preview here. And then uh, I open this one. So yeah, this is the geometry. As you can see that this is not something that you can create in these programs out of the box. And I mean finite element solvers. You always need to import this into the solver. So uh, as you can see, this is the mesh. We also discuss about the meshing aspects, about labeling, about uh, defining the boundary conditions and this kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, and we want to simulate the heat distribution, the, sorry, the temperature distribution inside those uh, these heat exchangers. In this case, I said the boundary conditions are not realistic that much because we apply a, a heat source here or temperature, constant temperature here and constant temperature here, positive, negative, and then they will start to move uh, towards to uh, each other. So this is actually the kind of simulation that we want to solve. But yeah, more realistic one is, as I said, is to couple a Floyd flow phenomenon to that as well. And also, yeah, we shouldn't apply a boundary condition to the end, to the output, and the heat should go. But you will see that when we want to simulate this, uh, yeah, it, it can be very easy and you can play with different boundary conditions and stuff. So look at this series as something as an introduction to finite element simulation. And also, yeah, lots of tricks, lots of tricks that you, you may find useful in, in, uh, yeah, in scenarios that you want to work with these solvers. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. We go on with uh, creating this geometry in uh, various, uh, in two applications, let's say in Salome and also in uh, FreeCAD. And then I will show you how you can mesh in FreeCAD and ex import FreeCAD geometries into in Salome. And then we go on with FreeFam, with Phoenix. These two are the main finite element solvers that we want to use later on. Uh, and we will have dedicated uh, introduction series on these solvers. They are very important for us. And also, yeah, like Code Aster, also OpenFoam, although this is not a uh, finite element. And also Elmer, a very, very nice multi-physics. 
uh, simulation package and uh, yeah this kind of stuff and uh, yeah let's see where we go and uh, I think this will be very exciting to to deal with this uh, with this because as I said there are lots of things that we want to discuss including the dimensions quantity um, dimensionless stuff units and uh, various things uh, yeah so from the next video we will start to create a geometry and then we go on see you in next videos bye